investors like uh, investors like uh, who are interested in doing foreign direct investment to the country yeah. on a big scale would like to support developers. Yeah. So, so you know, the interest in Indian real estate is not only from international investors. The domestic market is very strong uh, in terms of interest and returns that people have made over the years. So it's it's both foreign and domestic money is is looking at real estate and the different asset classes within real estate um, to invest. It might be office sector, it might be residential. Different cities across India are experiencing different supply demand dynamics in those sectors. So I think up north, people looking at the residential sector are feeling some pain. But that will that will work its way through over a period of time. I think if people are looking at real estate um, as, as a mid to long term investment globally and in India it's proven to be a terrific uh, asset class and, uh, and I, don't, I don't see any reason why that's going to change. Um, certainly the commercial office market across the country is in really good health. The vacancy levels in South India are generally below 10%. Some portfolios, or embassies' portfolio, it's below five percent, um, and so that's a that's a strong income stream for us um, from blue chip occupiers. We've got 175 plus corporate occupiers paying us rent every month. You know, that's a that's a terrific investment. So, so the gloom that sometimes people see, feel, and talk about up north is largely uh, focused around the residential sector. And that will take a little time to work through. So, will you see the residential market growing in India till 2025? You know, there's clearly a supply overhang up north. Um, but product that's well priced with good quality developers um, is, is clearly, there's, there's so much latent demand within the market um, with, with populations, affluence increasing with people's expectations in terms of quality increasing, with regulation like RERA, which means that there will be fewer um, residential developers able to sustain. There will be better performance on delivery, and then that in turn um, actually will feed into uh, higher pricing. So over over the midterm, I see it, it as, as a positive, positive investment, you know, both, both, both for for the quality of product, but also financial investment. Thanks a lot, sir. Thank you.